Do you ever just have one of those days where you're like, man, I'm pretty dense. Cause I just got up at 7.30 in the morning and went to the bus stop and waited for 15 minutes on the highway. There's no school today. <laughs> it's a development day. Today is a day off. So anyway, I got up and now I'm awake and I'm clothed. So it's time for your video. Today is the first exciting installment of a new series that I'm starting that I asked you guys about on my Facebook page. I wanted to do more like chill, lifestyle, talky talk videos because you guys seem to really like my urine review. So here we are talking about life. Do you like the atmosphere? Do you like the set? Do you like the fluffy fluffy fur? Grab some hot chocolate and a face mask because it's time for slumber party sessions or sleepover sessions. I can't really decide. What do you guys think? Kind of like sleepover, but slumber party is like a party. Like I'm always down to party. I don't know. Also, I apologize if my voice is extra like awful. I feel like I have strep throat. Um, which is really bad because my band has a gig in a week and I'm also a lead in Mary Poppins so I need to actually be able to fucking sing but oh well I'm gonna keep yelling on the internet and it'll be fine I've never actually like gotten up and went to school when there was no school but I'm kind of glad that it happened because like that's one thing that's like ho ho like been kind of a joke if you watch like shitty family channel like shows and stuff as I obviously did as a child and like my high school life is almost over like I thought today was gonna be the first day of the new semester which would be my last ever high school semester ever which is like ah, and also ah! and like I know what I want to do after high school which is really good because a lot of people don't um, but it's still just like, I'm not gonna be able to compare everything in my life that happens to a slice of life anime anymore, and I don't know how I feel about that, right? I know this is like really, really, really dumb and really weeby, but like if you were ever having a really shit day, you could just be like, you just go home and watch like K-On! or Oran High School Host Club or fucking Haruki Suzumiya if you want to throw back and you just be like, it's okay because they're in high school, so I'm cool. I'm such a nerd, but you know what I mean? It's like, I'm not alone in this. Jesus Christ. I hope this isn't like just incredibly fucking boring. I realized that like my favorite kind of videos to watch from other YouTubers are just like talking videos. Like my favorite YouTubers of all time ever, well, maybe not of all time, but like of the past at least four years are Drew Monson and Graveyard Girl. I find that they both have a sense of humor that's like really unique and just like jives with me so well. And my favorite videos to watch of theirs are I love Bunny's Tea Vlogs where she just like drives to a parking lot and talks and drinks tea. Like that's my shit. Give me 25 minutes of that. And Drew Monson just like screaming in his bedroom. Like that's all I need and I love it. So I don't know, hopefully you guys like this. Um, I wanna do like face masks and like nail painting. I brought my fave nail polish, but I don't know if I'm gonna do it cause I feel like I'll get it all over my bed. And just kinda chat about stuff, right? Like it doesn't have to be like this video is about lip gloss or like this video is a haul video cause those are good. But sometimes it's just like, let's have a one on one baby. You guys should paint your nails with me while you watch this and then like Instagram direct message me slash tag me in your hot nail pics. Do it. I'd be so happy. Let's have a date night. Let's have a girls night out. Even if you're one of the 6% of my viewership that is male also paint your nails. It's cute. One thing that I wanted to maybe chat with you guys about was I mentioned in my Sephora haul video the one before this one, uh, that the reason I went to Montreal was to go see a band called Muse. Um, and I like briefly mentioned just how like 
Muse is ridiculously important to me and that like I figured people on this channel wouldn't really be game for me vlogging about that because it's just like not kawaii alternative pastel fashion stuff like because I try and make sure everything on my channel is something that can be enjoyed by at least the majority um but I got a lot of comments of you guys being like no talk about it so I was like Hell yeah, motherfucker. So let's delve into this. Um, this is, I don't know if it's personal because everyone who knows me knows how important Muse is to me. Maybe not personal, but like very, very, very important. Yeah, when I was nine years old, in the fourth grade, I found a band called Muse via just like iTunes searching. I was into other, bands and stuff like uh yeah yeah yeah's and metric and stuff I've, I've always been you know in that genre of music even when i was fucking nine like a nerd i had nothing better to do than look at cool like alternative music and i found this band called muse and they were really weird and spacey and political and rocking and for some reason my fourth grade mind was like yes this is the shit i want and uh as i do i <laughs> became very obsessed very quickly and it was embarrassing and it still is because i'm like still just as obsessed but um everyone knew me for my love of this music and they still kind of do at least people still joke about it and it's it's funny you know I can I can understand but um it was uh fucking uh, ridiculous in the sixth grade I played a concert for the whole school which was like 600 people and I played Uprising by Muse on the piano with my guitar teacher like rocking the fuck out for a bunch of elementary school kids like, pause this or wait until after and Google Uprising by Muse if you don't know. Just imagine little elementary school me, like, rocking the fuck out. And my sixth grade teacher was kind of a little shit about it. And he, like, teased me and he was like, oh, it's just a phase. You'll get over it, whatever. Like, Jillian, like, you know, you gotta stop. And I'd, like, hide little Muse logos in, like, my shitty little sixth grade papers. And he was like, meh. Anyway, in seventh grade, I saw Muse live because my mom's amazing and my mom also really likes them. Uh, we saw them first in 2012 in uh, Quebec, uh, Quebec City, and it was the craziest experience of my life. There were also some people that had a very, 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 very big and largely negative impact on my life that I, uh, we ended up going to the same Muse concert. Um, so we met up in the hotel and that's a whole other can of worms, but basically my life has been greatly changed because of the, this people and I also met them because of Muse, so thanks, I guess. Uh, uh. Anyway, so my little mind was blown by that and it was like, very much a religious experience and i know that's super dumb but like my family's always been atheist as heck and i am lay buddhist now but growing up without any sort of religion or anything i was just kind of like hanging out and i was totally chill with it like i got bullied quite a bit for being atheist because apparently in elementary school fucking everyone's Christian, which is totally okay, but it's not okay when you make the little atheist girl feel like shit and like tell her that she's wrong and that her family's wrong and then she has to sit out when everyone's like coloring pictures of Jesus at Christmas time, like can we just not? Anyway, so I listened to Muse to make myself feel less like shit and it was awesome. Middle school was just as hellish as you can imagine and as anyone can imagine middle school would be. Um, especially for like a weird little <laughs> fairly androgynous chick um, with short, short green hair and a lot of anger. <laughs> Not so much anger, but just like 
feelings. I still, I'm still the same. I'm still the same. I'm just feminine now. And Muse helped me through the absolute darkest times that I was in, at least in middle school, because I know, like, life's always gonna be life. Like, there's always gonna be shit to get through, but just, like, fucking middle school, man. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh. What a hell pit. And my mom and I ended up going in the ninth grade, I think, to see Muse in New York. And since, you know, my mom was like, okay, this girl has been crazy for this band for five years now, I guess. Um, five years at the time, eight now, yes. So we went to see them in New York and my mom decided to get VIP tickets, which was crazy. No, I did not meet them. They don't do that, which is really upsetting because I feel like my soul will never rest until I get to meet this band to at least just verbally say quickly that they've completely shaped me as a human being. Um, but yeah, VIP was amazing. We got to like hang in this cool lounge thing and it was like super fancy bar with like muse shit everywhere. And that was at Madison Square Garden. So like, also I saw Kiari Pemu Pemu the night before and Muse was also playing twice. So my mom was like, why the hell not? And we got tickets for the other night. So that's how I saw Muse twice in two days. Thank you. <laughs> and that brings us to, if we skip three years of just the same amount of love, my mom and I decided to get tickets for the drones tour and we saw them in Montreal, I guess like just over a week ago, which is crazy. And it really is just, it's just insane. I can say it's an experience or like it feels like almost religious as many times as I want. And I know I'm just gonna keep sounding like a big muse weeb, but like, oh my God. Anyway, so that's a huge, incredibly important thing about my life that now you know. I feel like this is really important and I never talked about it just because I felt like no one would care because it's not like fashion or Japan or whatever. But hey, now we're getting more personal. But yeah, I had a rough everything. <laughs> right? I've just, I've always kind of been on the rocks, like iced tea, but like so that the ice, like there's too much ice so it's too rocky and then like the iced tea gets all watered down and you're just like, well, shit, like, I'm not gonna drink this. That's basically been my life. And Muse has just been such a huge help. Like, anytime I just am feeling hecka lost, I always will turn on Follow Me by Muse or Starlight by Muse, and it's like, thank you, Jesus. I have a notification. It's Colin. What the heck do you want? I feel like everyone has like one big thing that's like their thing. Like I have friends where like Legend of Zelda is like their whole life. I have like 80,000 friends who like MCRs their whole life and MCR replaced Muse in my heart's number one favorite spot for like eight months in the eighth grade and I still feel bad but like MCR like I don't even care I don't even care like I'm slightly ashamed but like I'll admit that I'm a 2011 emo kid like always and forever in my heart like do you ever think about that like this like I think it's cool but like I feel like Anyone who had a scene phase, it didn't have a scene phase. I had like an embarrassing phase, but it wasn't specifically like scene emo or whatever. Like we all thought that was the coolest shit at the time. And now we regret it. Like I feel like all of the like kawaii Lolita, like we're, we're gonna look back in five years and be like, oh my God, we're just the 2016 emo kids. Like I had this realization in art the other day and it was like, we're all emo. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, I hope you like this style of video. It was fun. I hope you had a good hot chocolate and or root beer float and or cup of tea because I'm sick and my throat hurts. 
Um, I'm going to go and watch Undertale Let's Plays for six hours now. <laughs> Let me know if you guys have like a holy grail religion band or show or anything that's kind of changed you as a person. Um, I really want to feel not alone in this because I just feel like I can never explain with words how important this band has been for my growth as a human. So anyway, I'm making a vlog. I hope this isn't weird, but please let me know. I would love to read your comments, even if they're long and there's a lot. I'm gonna try my best to read all the heckin' comments because slumber party sesh, interactive time, YouTube revolution. <laughs> I'm just saying words now. Also, I reperped my hair last night. Last night at nine o'clock, cause I thought I had to fucking get fucking sleep for school, which there wasn't today. Oh my god! Like, not that I'm bitter that there's no school. It is funny, but I'm just in such a weird mind set now. I'm like, like I feel like I'm homesick, so I feel like I can't do anything. Like, why didn't I stay? Well, like, okay, I did stay up until one a.m. last night, watching Undertale Let's Plays. Like trash comment tell me about yourself i hope you enjoyed this video of just chatting uh i hope you guys want more of these because i thought it was fun it's nice to just have like not a whole lot of pressure and it's just like hang out sesh because i want to hang with you guys i want to i want this to be a friendship anyway i love you guys so much and i will see you next time bye